Ready to go, coach? Yeah. What's up? Thanks for clicking. You're watching The Best Sherry. I don't have my snake here today with me, but I do have my greyhound coach. Say hello. If you want to know what to put on your shopping list before you get a Mexican black king snake, stick around because that's what I'm going to be talking about today. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna speed through all of this stuff. It's gonna be super fun. If you want any more detail, I do have a complete Mexican Black King Snake care guide, and I'll put all of these things into a bit more context for you if you want more detail. First, I'm gonna go through stuff you need for setting up your snake. Obviously, you need a tank. I recommend a 20 gallon long with a sliding lid, but basically anything will work as long as the lid is secure and the length plus the depth is at least as long as the length of your snake. You're also gonna need substrate. Aspen works great. It's the cheapest, it's easy to clean. At least two hides, one for the warm side, one for the cool side, and if you add more, that's great. Your snake will love you for it. You're gonna need a water dish as well, obviously. You can get one that looks nice like a rock or just like anything from Dollarama or Tupperware. Doesn't really matter. Also gonna wanna pick up some water conditioner, just like from a fish store or whatever. That'll get rid of any of the chlorine that's in your tap water before you give it to your reptile. I found the easiest way to do that is to get a water dispenser, condition that, and then that's the water that I use for my reptiles. It's also a great idea to add some branches to your enclosure for your snake to exercise and get enrichment. You can gather them from outside or you can buy them at a reptile specialty store. Foliage, it looks nice and your snake can also climb around in it and stuff. So again, you can get it from a reptile pet store or you can also go to like Dollarama or a craft shop and pick something up as long as you make sure that there's nothing the snake can injure itself on or get stuck in or there's no like coating that might come off and be harmful to your snake. Now temperature. There's lots of ways to regulate the temperature in your snake's enclosure. You basically have the option of a heat mat, which can be on 24-7, a ceramic heat emitter, which can also be on 24-7, or a basking bulb of a fairly low wattage, and this can only be on during the day. For a heat bulb and a ceramic heat emitter as well, obviously you're going to need to buy a fixture for it with an on-off switch. Which one you choose is really gonna depend on your particular setup, your room temperatures, and what's gonna work best for you. To figure that out, of course, you need a way to control and measure these heating elements. So for a ceramic heat emitter and a heat mat, neither of them emit light. So a simple on-off thermostat is a perfect way to measure and control those temperatures. For a heat bulb, you're gonna need to put it on a rheostat or a dimmer if you need to decrease the amount of heat output that it's producing. And then of course you need a way to measure your temperatures of your warm side, your cool side, and your basking spot. So you can use a thermometer like this for your ambient temperatures if you want, and a digital thermometer with a probe for your hot spot. However, if it's at all possible for you to get your hands on a heat gun, that's what I recommend. And you don't need any other thermometers or anything because you can just point and shoot. If you are using a basking ball that emits light, you're only gonna wanna have that on for 10 to 12 hours a day. So I recommend getting a timer. You can pick it up from the hardware store and they're not expensive. And then that way you don't have to worry about remembering to turn on and off the lights at the exact same time every day. And finally, in terms of measuring the environment, you can purchase a hygrometer if you want to keep an eye on humidity. However, humidity isn't really a big deal with king snakes, so like, Whatever. Oh, I'm so sorry, coach. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Moving on to the maintenance elements of keeping your king snake, you are going to need some cleaning products. So I use vinegar and water and bleach. I use the vinegar to spray down the cage when I clean it every few months and a one to nine bleach solution to soak all the decorations. Definitely also gonna need some paper towel. And for spot cleaning, I recommend using gloves and some kind of scooper to just get rid of the poop. When you're doing your whole cage cleans as well, something like this is gonna come in really handy to scoop out all the substrate and put new substrate in. Now it's also a good idea, even if your snake isn't aggressive, to get a snake hook like this telescoping snake hook. Even if you never use it to actually handle your snake, just giving them a little rub before you take them out of the enclosure to let them know that they're being handled. is definitely a good practice to get into and you never know 
when you might need this. For your snake's health, I recommend getting some kind of tote to carry your snake to and from different places or if you have to take them to the vet, it's always a good idea to have something you can carry them in. Even when you clean their cage, having somewhere to put them is a must. It's also a great idea to use a kitchen scale or something similar to weigh your snake on a semi-regular basis just to keep on top of their development and health. And finally, feeding. You are gonna need feeding tongs. Don't think that you won't. It's never a good idea to offer a snake a mouse with your hand because your hand will become the mouse. And of course, frozen thawed rodents. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick rundown of all the stuff you need to buy before you get your snake. I'm gonna include a list in a couple of seconds on the screen here. If you want, you can like take a screenshot of it and bring it to the pet store once everything like opens up again and the world is back to normal and you're back to like buying your pets and stuff. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.